Hey there, it's Val and Clint. Just kidding. Uh, he had to run and do some work today. I still have tons of things to do. Uh, we're going to use scraps again. Sorry, I was just thinking about what I was going to do. Let me grab some envelopes. But yeah, so he, he ran to do some work. And I'm going to stay home and clean chanterelles. <laughs> oh my gosh. still have two bowls. Huge bowls to clean. Um, thankfully, you don't have to clean them all at once. Because they take some time. And, you know, bending over and all that really can get to you. So I just happened to see this. And I thought, you know, we could just do... Uh, make some of these for our stash. Which is really nice. These are not my idea, uh, inspired by someone I saw on YouTube. And we are going to just kind of work on these for our stash because these are so fun. Did I cut that? I may not have even cut that one down. Let me check my sides. But we will be doing some TNs and stuff. All of a sudden it just got so busy. <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy busy with work and all that. It's chilly today. In fact, I just took off my jacket. I'm not sure that was a very smart move. So I do want these to be about eight. I just think eight and a half. I don't want them super big. Let's do it like in between. So eight and a quarter. Um, but some of your papers, you know, are a little bit smaller. So let's just see what we can do here. Oh, it's Tuesday already. My friend Lindsay always. <laughs> I'm gonna see how how long this is. Yeah, that's about eight and a quarter. And this this is what you need. Just some kind of something. I put a little bit of cardboard there. Um, let's do like five. We'll see if we can get five done trying to do things quickly so that um not spending all day on you know things but i still want to use my scraps so this one could be number five okay so i was just thinking that instead of cardboard that's what they used was something to kind of lift them up uh, maybe we could use foam tape and I have this massive roll of foam tape, but where would I have put it? <laughs> because obviously it's not here beside me. Huh. I wonder if it even made it out here. Okay, well I don't have it right here, so let me grab some uh, cardboard. And I think I'm just going to grab like a... cereal box um just something you know i always have cereal boxes we don't really eat a lot of um pre-made foods but i do love cereal but also love like oatmeal and you know things that are a little bit healthier for you uh, about an inch that's probably enough because that's doubled But it's kind of nice to have these because you can just um, you know have a piece of cardboard and so I'm just going to it doesn't have to go all the way to the side and you just want two for each one you could use cardstock or you know whatever you want this is just going to raise it up a little bit which is nice so we talked to Lida again but um her home phone 
died. Uh, when I called, uh, Ron, his brother, said, the phone's fixing to die, so call mom on her cell phone. So we called mom on her cell phone. And then as he was talking to her, that phone died. <laughs> so we really don't know much if she made it to see her sister. She didn't get into that. She was just talking about whether or not she should get her knees replaced. So uh, she still has, she has one good knee and one not so good knee. Uh, really bad knee. So what would you do in her place? Because she's always like, I don't know what to do. I'm already 80. So does she go ahead and get it replaced? Because couldn't she have like 20 more years? You know, and I just feel like she should do it. If she's going to do it, if not, then, uh, you know, she needs to make up her mind. Mom, you need to make up your mind. <laughs> I can hear her saying, I know, I know. <laughs> so we still don't know what's going on, if she'll be back this winter. Uh, if she has her knee replaced, most likely she won't be. But who knows? We did not get into that. So, um, told you guys about the retreat. I did not put a link because I forgot. But if you're interested, email me and we can talk about it. I thought it would be kind of fun, too, to maybe, I don't know if Betty's up for that, uh, do like a meet and greet. If somebody wanted to, you know, maybe not come to the retreat, but one day we could just, you know, meet for an hour at a restaurant or something if and you didn't want to uh, I'm planning uh, my class because my friend uh, Lindy <laughs> I have so many friends they are all all sound alike Lindy is um, has asked me to do some stuff I guess I guess you meant my class didn't you Lindy I'll have to ask you online but we chat a few times a week and uh, she's like can you show me how to do this so I imagine she wanted me to do a class on it I don't know so you do want to glue uh, I think you could even do these you know what we should try while I'm thinking about let's go ahead and do these and then I was wondering if we could use like a regular envelope because a lot of people might not have this particular kind. Let's kind of we'll kind of look at it and see. And then we're just going to glue these down. I'm going to glue this. Which reminds me, I have this cereal in there. I'm trying to lose weight before the <laughs> before the thing. But when I I know when I get stressed, I just tend to eat. And I've been stressed the last couple of days. So it's kind of like, I don't care. I'm just going to eat whatever. But I would like to lose, you know, 15 pounds just to make myself feel better. And because I know there's going to be tons of pictures. Um, sorry, that's bugging me. Um, at the retreat. But yeah, it looks like I'm going to get to go. So I hope so, because I think it would be so fun. Um, I don't see myself not being able to go. I was hoping, you know, Lida could come and stay with Clint while I was gone, but I don't know. I don't know, Mom. The retreat, I think I'm leaving here on the 4th of October. So you would have to come the week before. <laughs> so I could teach you how to make videos while I'm gone. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would either show Clint how to make them or make them in advance or maybe share um, some of the goings on. I know not everybody likes to be on video places like that so I wouldn't want you know wouldn't want to share too much and I don't really know who's showing up but I would love to see some of you guys I know 
I probably, I always have like a, oh, I'll get five of these done in one day, and then I never do. But I have so much to do today, and I didn't get a video done yesterday. So yeah, it's just that. I tried to talk Darcy into coming and see us. She's five hours away from where we'll be. And I was thinking, oh, I would love to see Darcy. Give her a big hug. Again, it is going to be in Gatlinburg. I didn't believe that one, but Tennessee. And it's hours and hours and hours from here. You know, so. Did I glue that? Maybe I did, and I was talking and didn't realize. <laughs> Uh, I tell you. So yeah, um, so it was like a 27-hour drive if I drive it, which means I'd have to rent a vehicle and stay in motel. I don't do good with driving by myself. I may ask my sister, "Hey, you want to go with me to Gatlinburg? If you want to." And then I told her why, and she's like, "No, I'm good." <laughs> She doesn't do anything unless it's something she wants to do. Like if if she wants me to go, she kind of she kind of sits there and needles me until I just you know kind of it's kind of like a cat. She bugs you until you make the right decision, which is whatever she wants you to do. But she's not willing to do that for you. She doesn't watch my videos. Even if she does, I don't care. I don't say anything on here that I'm not willing to say in real life. So yeah, so Clint headed to work. He just texted me. I just was thinking about it. And uh, I think he only has like one or two jobs. Not doing very well. He's really hurting. So it... I think we're going to start looking into physical, or not physical therapy, but, you know, disability for him. I don't know anything about disability. He's saying that once you file, you're not allowed to put anything else in the records, which doesn't make any sense to me, but, you know, he's saying that's what the lady said, so I need to do research or call her and see what she suggests. All that good stuff. Okay. Uh, I just want a regular envelope. I just want to see if we can do the same thing with a regular one. Oh, I have sweats on, guys. I had to buy new sweats because my other ones are so worn out. Because that's all I wear in the winter. Uh, around the house is sweats. So these all have holes and stuff. So I've got some of QVC. And um, yeah, so let's see what we want to do. I don't want these. My cutter. So, and I got a really fun um, flannel shirt from a yard sale last week for three bucks I think. I just love talking to people at yard sales. <laughs> it just makes me happy. Uh, eight, eight and a quarter. So the thing with the retreat is we have to bring our materials. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, I'm going to mail some because, you know, for every suitcase you take on, it's extra money and all that. Because I am going to fly and so I have to figure that out. So, just try, trying to decide. Because what you do is you end up putting, let me see, I even have, look, I have these strands. They might work. Or not, but I have a few of them. So maybe, I mean, look at them all. So I might could. I'm just 
thinking about how I would design, you know, design that. Will it work? Oh, maybe it will. Ah, just a little shy. Uh, you don't want it super tight. But you want to have a little bit of room. That might not be, might be too much room. We did can some pork yesterday, which was so fun. Um, I never canned pork before. And I think what I'm going to do is just, you know. Sorry, I'm just all over the place today. That's why I'm called the Rambler. <laughs> uh, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I tell you though, the other day when I pulled my back, oh my gosh, it was, I was up all night, like every 20 minutes. Um, and I had forgotten that we have a car that we're not using and we couldn't get it to start. So we had the idea that if we could get it in neutral, we would just push it because it just needed to go like 10 or 15 feet to get out of the way from like uh, the delivery guys, you know, like UPS and all that. So here Clint and I are pushing it. And I think that was the, the whole issue. So yeah, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So, I'm thinking, I mean, you could, you know, cut this, you could glue this, and then you could cut it here, cut an opening here, right? Could you do anything different is what what I am wondering, let me get some, some more of this, but yeah, so I'm thinking, do I want to carry a, you know, a cutter with me, do I want to, you know, take scissors with me, paper, you know, all that kind of stuff, what all do I want to, you know, carry with me to the retreat. So, or would it just be simpler to go to, um, like Michael's or someplace and what I can't borrow, just purchase from Michael, from Michael's. And Lindy did say, oh, well, let me know what you need and I could just bring it. But uh, I'm still considering Lindy. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, for what she wants me to show... Um, you know, okay, so if we put these here and here, I have all that stuff is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so if we had something that goes up and down, we might could like cut this piece. I'm just thinking about how, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just shall I find some stuff. So if we... <clears throat> make it different because I want I want to make it different than what I have so we'll see and Miss Daddy had a new grandbaby yesterday she was texting me during the day and stuff and uh, took a while for the baby to get here but he finally made made a appearance I think it was late yesterday afternoon and mom and, mom and baby are fine and uh, so cute baby I showed Lindsay this morning she's like what a butterball definitely a little butterball <laughs> Betty said he's got uh, rolls on his rolls He's a very healthy little guy. Adorable. Let's see. Move this here. But yeah, so my idea is we're flying to flying to Florida and then we're gonna drive up eight hours. But I'm um gonna spend a full day with Betty. 
before we drive up. So I figure I'll be totally exhausted when I get home. <laughs> Don't you think, Lindy? I mean, let's see. I'm going like on the 4th to Betty's. This is the plan. Going on the 4th to Betty's. So I'll, I'll get there. I think it'll be I'll be there late afternoon on the 4th. And then the 5th, I'll be there all day. And then the next day, we will be um, driving 8 hours to the retreat. And then that's an all-day, you know, thing. So, I kind of have an idea. Let's see. Okay, so if I cut <clears throat> this, like, you know, two, three, or two links. So, here's my little thing. Now, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but how am I going to, oh, I think I, I think I just came up with it. Okay, so, we'll see. I can hear Robin now. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Michelle, I don't get it. You so confused me. I know, I'm confusing myself, Robin. <laughs> she was saying that with, um. the Darcy pocket. So, I'm just going to measure this again. She's like, you're so confusing me. I know, I'm sorry. I know this isn't going to go on the front, but I just need that for this piece here. Okay. Like I said, who knows if it's even going to work. We haven't even started decorating and we're 20 minutes in. It's okay. Sometimes you've got to design first, right? Okay, so so yeah, I think I'll be totally exhausted by the time I get back home. <laughs> but I think it'll be worth it, you know. But you know, Clint's fixing to have to be on shots and for his uh, to regrow his bone so he can have that surgery, and so I'm stressing about that. Um, you know, and him being by himself while I'm gone and stuff like that. So, but if mom were to come for his back surgery, we're looking at uh, December, no, uh, January. So she would have to come in October, anyways, because of snow snow in the passes and stuff and it's already starting to snow so okay I don't know if this is gonna work but okay that one clears it and then up here okay those both clear I just want to make sure it clears this okay This is, I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of glue it up to the, um, where we kind of cut it. Just so it's, you know, a pocket. Okay. I know, Robin, I'm totally lost here. <laughs> Michelle, I'm lost. I know. Me too. Okay, so there's our piece, and you know, so our pocket will be right here, right? So let's go ahead and decorate this. Um, I don't want this to be so obvious, and then I think it'd be kind of fun to maybe do like a something there. So we'll just design today. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, if I, like, put something straight across so you don't really notice this piece. So, let's do that. You could probably do a pocket here if you wanted. Again, it's just me doing Michelle fine stuff. Michelle doesn't know what she's doing. 
kind of like that design there. So somebody had asked me um, a paper design, and I actually remembered it. It's the name of a song, K Sera Sera, is the name of that paper pad. Remember I told you I got it from, um, might even be this paper, um, from Tuesday mornings a while back. And I believe it was called Caseroll Sorrel. Uh oh. Okay. I think that'll be fine. Paper pad, and I can't remember like the brand name of the paper pad. I really need to look it up, but I'm pretty sure this is part of the the paper. I always thought that's such an odd name. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. You do not want me singing today. <laughs> or any day, but I used to sing. But not anymore. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Let me look. Looking through my scraps. Because that's what we're doing. This is not all my scraps. I really should do like a, um, Sue was like, I don't have that many scraps. I should share. <laughs> yeah, this is my little scraps, which means I have big ones somewhere. Uh, I think they're still over there in the cabinet. This is some more of that case for all raw paper. Ooh, I like that. I know that's the paper because I love that paper pad. So if anyone finds it, please share below. Yeah, I thought I better run out, and make a video, then I have other stuff I have to do, like um, paperwork and all that good jazz. Um. Chantrails. I have two containers of them. Not sure we're going to get any more because I'm getting tired of washing chantrails. But I am going to do a short video on how we um, clean the chantrails because somebody did ask me. And, um, ooh, that's pretty. How we cleaned them and how we process them to use at a later time. That's pretty. I really like that. Or, ooh, ooh, I like that too. And that would be just about right, wouldn't it? Thinking about a little thing there. So just kind of play around with your stuff and just see what you prefer. You know, just kind of, that's how, when I design something, that's what I do. I just kind of play play around with it until it comes together. So if I do it like that and I'll kind of glue here. And then if I need to, I think I'll glue here. a little short up the top, but I think it'll be fine. So that's a little pocket, which I kind of like that. Okay, then I have this piece. I think that goes as well, just as well. But also, I, I want to put a, like a piece here could trim this and make it a little bit um, more even to this piece. It's about perfect. Okay. 
actually kind of cute. And you know what? You don't even have to like cut it into a shape. As long as that thing clears it, then this could flip up and we could put another piece there and I think I like that idea. So <clears throat> let's put that piece here and then what we'll do is on the inside of it we'll put another piece of something just to kind of make it a little sturdier. Then maybe I'll actually tomorrow we'll get to that other <laughs> to that other um decorating because you know okay so that like that it's not perfect but that's okay it doesn't have to be and then we'll put another piece here and then that could like flip out that's kind of cute let me see I found that like way down here it was almost like squished um, below. <coughs> I like my new sweats though, they're really comfy and they're cute. It says something on the side of them, of the leg. Uh oh, oh there it is. It says I am grateful, which I love. So uh, we do have coffee dyed paper in here. Let's see. I want something for the inside and then something for the other side. I kind of know what papers I'm using so again we are just trying to use up our scraps because we have so many of them and even though I think oh I'll never you know I'll get rid of scraps but every time you cut down a scrap you have another scrap <laughs> because you know you just have a smaller one yeah so Kind of like this, but I don't think that would work. Sometimes I'm thinking, what was I thinking when I ripped that or tore it or whatever. Is it Edith Holden? What's this? Nope. Not wide enough. Sorry. Come on, Michelle. Oh, wait. What's this? This one might work. That would be cute for on the inside. Ooh, it's almost perfect. Do I want to? I just wonder if I want to just slide it in, but then it would make it smaller. I think there's a little bit of glue or something there. Okay, well let's just do that. I have a little piece here where I kind of ripped it or cut it or something. So, I might have to cover that. Only oh, scraps are allowed. I went around the corners because I think that's kind of kind of look cute, you know. Another scrap. <laughs> that's okay though. Um, there it is. I think I'm gonna call and make appointments. Clint and I both need to get our eyes checked. It's been a while. I'm gonna call and make appointments to get our eyes checked. Notice the older I get, the worse my eyes are. I know that's supposed to be, but I don't like it. Do not like it. Okay. That is a little too long, so I am going to use my paper cutter and trim it. do that without here we 
go. And then I want to Where's my ink? Oh, I was using this one. I need to get bring some of those other ones out. I lost my other ones, Darcy. I don't know where I put them. I looked because I thought maybe I put them up. Look, I totally did that all crooked. Oh, well. So this one has some red in it because I haven't, I keep forgetting to bring out more um, sponges from inside. Okay, so let's do the bottom part. Are you anxious to see how I'm going to make this work? Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, because I'm not sure. to be at least one more piece of paper for that so that I can I don't have to cut anything you know down I mean that is Eda Folden but not necessarily what I wanted I have to go through my other scrap pile let me grab it okay so I have my scraps here they're just a little bit bigger. Some of them, I guess. I guess they're not all, but some of them are bigger. I try to, you know, put the smaller ones together. That's kind of cute. Let's see how that works. Looks like. I think that would look okay, don't you? So I am going to. Trim this side, I don't know why, but there's a white thing there. I wonder if I, oh, that's what I did, if I um, made it thicker, that's fine. Okay, so let's 
put a little bit of bark glue here. Let's glue that down. Okay, so here is my idea. How are we going to make it into a secret journaling spot? So here is that. So it's going to be able to turn from here and there is my plan. I hope this works. <laughs> okay, so. If that's too tight, I can always make another one. I think it might be okay, but it might not. Yeah, it'll be okay. Okay, so this is going to, I'm going to make another one just a little bit wider. And then that is, I'm going to trim this because it just doesn't quite add up right or something. Just a little <coughs> roomier. So that roomy. So yeah, um, one thing about the ticket I found, I might have to end up in Denver for 10 hours. So, I think, what am I going to do in Denver for 10 hours? <laughs> Just hang out at the, because, you know, Lida can't come get me. She lives close to Denver, but, so, I might, um, see what the hours and stuff are like, and I know I have a couple of friends up there that might want to come meet me at the airport for dinner or something. I don't know. It's overnight, so I don't even know if that's feasible. But I thought, well, maybe I can make something work. Because the plane ticket there is only like six hours, but on the one home is like 14 hours or something. No, it's got to be more than that. 17 hours. So yeah, I'm kind of like, ugh. I mean, I don't mind, you know, if I have something to do. Okay, so say we glue this side down, this side down. So this is going to be like this, and then this is going to move, right? Okay, so it's going to come here. It's going to be able to clear that, but how do we cover this part up? <clears throat> So what I was thinking is, if we put it here, because I mean that's going to cover it regardless, um, I could make that a little wider and then that would hold it down. Or we could even put like another of those, um, the serial pieces there. And then the only way you can open it is to pull it down or pull it up, you know. So, how are we going to do it? So, I don't know. One thing I was thinking of is, where did I put all my stuff? Here it is. I don't know. It's kind of fun to create sometimes. I've been, it's been a while since I've been out here, so I'm excited to, to do something, you know. Um... That's pretty. I think that's a Darcy, Darcy thing. <clears throat> um, let's see. Is that going to be upright? But kind of is. So let's just look at that and see. Also, I have this pretty paper. Oh, let's 
it's not right with oh. so if I did something like this <coughs> that folded you know I was thinking like a hinge here and then this could fold up like this okay but if this was locked into place I'm just thinking okay so this folds and then we have like a magnet or a uh, velcro here so you'd have to unvelcro it and as long as it's unvelcroed but would that hinder my um my mechanism so let me think think this through Michelle but if I locked it You know, if I made this like wider, or like I said, put a thing here, and it hangs over, or even if we put it halfway, because that would lock it into place. So even if I put, like say, a little something here, say this thing. <coughs> okay, it's decorated and everything. So, I mean, something like that could work too, huh? So then you can either move it up or down, and then just keep it in the center that would work I actually like that okay shall we put it on a page because I kind of want to see how this is going to work so let me grab a generic page that maybe I would put in a traveler's notebook or a journal so let me grab something I'll be right back okay if I made a TN I'm gonna cut this down so TN papers I use are eight and a half square so eight and a half by eleven we're gonna cut this down to eight and a half where okay and I kind of like so because I am gonna make some TNs I just haven't been working on them so we're gonna put that oh that'd be perfect for a TN wouldn't it okay so let's glue it into place and we'll kind of look at it and see what we have yeah, you guys thought I was going a whole different way when we started. <laughs> no, Michelle, let's do something different that you have no clue what you're doing. I don't know, I was just in the mood to create, I guess. Okay, so uh, this would also be a belly band. So, and then you can move this either up, because it would stop there, or down. And then just kind of center it. Down doesn't have as much room, but that's fine. That's fine. And then you could center it here, so I would do like a collage here. So, let's just do that, because... Because. <laughs> so, um, what am I thinking? I have some lace. Just using things on my desk right now. So like some lace here. But first I want to do, you know, something else. But this might be really cute, like hanging down or something too. So, um, let's see, maybe pink. Kind of leaning towards that way it looks like with this little piece of ephemera. I always say the first one takes like 10 years to make <laughs> and then it uh, settles down and you can make another one really really quickly that's just how it takes for me it just takes forever so if we say we used this so you would you would need to make sure that it would clear there right so it would need, you know, it couldn't be any wider than that. Which I think would be fine, even down here. Let's see. Still designing. Michelle has no clue what she is doing. So about the middle of this piece here. Because really, as long as you move it one way or the other, it's not going to matter. 
So say this comes down here. Okay, and this is going to be the center. I think if I maybe trim that a little bit more. I just mainly want it to, you know, to clear right there. Do I like that paper? I don't think I like it. Sorry. I know, I know. Someone, I can't remember who it was. They said, oh, I think it was Lynn. She said, Michelle, I was kind of concerned when I was doing that drawing. She was like, I was concerned that it wasn't going to turn out. I was like, I don't know. And she said, but you always pull it together. Well, truthfully, Lynn, I think I told you this, but I was kind of like, I don't even know if I'm going to sh share this video <laughs> or not. Because, you know, the good thing is Lynn does do, um, she does do um, videos. So she knows that you can edit and you can, you know, if it's edited, if it's listed, then it's something that I'm okay with. So, but otherwise, Lynn, I was thinking, ah, I probably wouldn't have shown it otherwise. And really, it did turn out much better than, because I was thinking the same thing when I did my little practice thing. It was, I did it like a six as big as what I had done on, you know, the actual drawing, because that was pretty large. And I was like, I don't know, it's kind of... Is this going to turn out? But the more layers you put on, you know, of those alcohol markers, it kind of smooths it out. And so it turned out pretty good. I like it now, but I think it was her. I do like the idea of going back and doing a frame of black around that, um, that picture. Oh, I kind of like that. So let's just do it. I need to quit procrastinating. <coughs> But yeah, I was thinking, I don't know if this is going to be a video or not. <laughs> I am still drawing every day, which is so fun. Okay, so again, we just want to check. If I put it there, is that going to clear? And no, it's not. So, I am going to move it up just a little, just to make sure it's going to clear. And just because it, it's going to clear on the top, it's not going to clear on the bottom. I'm okay with that. So if you get this, then just be aware that it opens, it just, which actually is a good thing, I, I think. You know, I was thinking about doing a fold up, which I could do, but no, I'm going to do it like this. Because why not? We can shellify anything. Huh? So you just want to make sure that, you know, it's straight and that you're flippy flat thing is going to open. So I mean, it's a cute little idea, I think. And then, I mean, you can obviously just kind of kind of rearrange that. Let's see if we have just like a sticker or something from Miss Betty. She's been texting me this morning. I just looked over and said her baby girl was having issues yesterday um, after having the baby. So, hopefully all is well with what was going on. She had a new baby. Did I mention that? I don't know. <laughs> I forget what I talk about. That's why I'm a rambler. I don't remember if I mentioned it here or if I mentioned it to someone. Oh, that is so cute. Do we want lace? 
I put lace on it, and here's my thought, if I put lace on it down here, then it's going to hinder this, right? So maybe it's not a good idea to put lace on it because, I mean, I could put it, say I put it there, you know, you could maybe still, but then putting it back down might be a pain, so I'm not going to. Let's just put a saying on it. That is awfully cute. I like it. It's fun. It's something different. Let me find, let's see. I love these flowers. Um, you can never have too much happy. I do want the white. Um, what about just life is, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. color it any color you want. Of course then I have to clean that up or it's all over my item. But yeah, we're going to have to get heat out here before too long because it's starting to get cold. Life doesn't have Uh, we do have a sale on Etsy. Um, I think Gail shared it this last week. So, um, that we're going to have a Labor Day sale. But, um, I asked her, I think she shared it earlier than what I was thinking. And so, we've had all these people like in our store. So, that's fine. We just made the sale an extra week. So, just a Labor Day sale a week early. I think it's one of our biggest sales yet, like percentage-wise. So, oh, I love that. So, I don't know. What do you think? Um, different. And then that flips like that. And then we can put a little tag. So let's just put one in here. I think I have a little bit of time left. Um, let's see what is going on here. grief. Okay, a little bit more. <laughs> so, I think I'm just going to fold it. That way you have a little more journaling spots. I'm just going to fold it like that. So that is the journaling. And then of course you still have underneath that you could put a um, something underneath it because it's kind of like a little belly band. I love it. What do you guys think? You could put sayings up here, some decoration, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, where's that? 
I mean, you could put lace like here. You know, you could do all kinds of stuff. Let's just toss it on here because why not? I love this lace anyways. I really need to get more. One time I went overboard and ended up with... Uh, Tons of lace here. I think I bought like 12 of them or something from Hobby Lobby. And I've already used it all, so it's definitely a favorite of mine. But you know, you could decorate it and kind of throw people off that it is a secret journaling spice. That's cute. And then you could even do something up there if you want to. So, let me know what you think. I think it turned out awfully cute. I really like this. Uh, just a way to use plain envelopes and make it into something, you know, that you can just use a junk journal envelope or a junk envelope, junk mail. And, or you can use it like this. You could even, you know, cut this and make a little top and create this type of envelope but that's just another fun way to to do a secret journaling spot so i love it thanks for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video see you soon bye